Do you know the one thing that can make God truly unhappy with your relationship? Stick around and find out. Welcome back. In today's video, we are looking at the concept of relationship intimacy and why it is crucial for both spiritual and emotional connections. Intimacy in relationship goes beyond just the physical aspect. It's about forming a deeper emotional and spiritual bond with your partner. This connection is what makes a relationship strong and fulfilling, thereby aligning with God's design for love and partnership. But here's the issue. Certain behaviors can create a distance, not just between you and your partner, but between you and God as well. Neglecting intimacy in any form can lead to misunderstanding, resentment, and a weakening in the relationship's foundation. So what exactly is intimacy and how does it manifest in a relationship? There are actually three forms of intimacy, physical, spiritual, and emotional. Emotional intimacy involves sharing your thoughts, feelings, and experiences with your partner. It's about being open and vulnerable, which fosters trust and a deeper connection. Physical intimacy, on the other hand, is about expressing love through physical touch, affection, and closeness. It's a vital part of any romantic relationship, but should be approached with respect and care. And then there's spiritual intimacy, which is often overlooked, but incredibly important. This involves sharing your faith, values, and spiritual practices with your partner. Praying together, attending worship services, discussing your beliefs can strengthen your bond and align your relationship with God's will. When any of these forms of intimacy are neglected, it can have serious consequences. Lack of emotional intimacy can lead to feelings of isolation and loneliness. Neglecting physical intimacy can cause frustration and a sense of disconnect. And without spiritual intimacy, you might find it difficult to navigate challenges and grow together in your faith. God wants us to have relationships that are fulfilling and enriching because this reflects his love and commitment towards us. By neglecting intimacy, we risk not only arming our relationship with our partner, but also drifting away from God's plan for us. To sum it up, intimacy is important for a healthy, God-oriented relationship. Emotional, physical, and spiritual intimacy all play crucial roles in creating a deep and meaningful connection with your partner. So neglecting any of these can lead to distance and dissatisfaction both with your partner and with God. Could you take a moment to reflect on your own relationships? Are you nurturing all forms of intimacy? So far, we have seen that lack of relationship intimacy can hinder your relationship with both your partner and with God. Let me share with you a few other behaviors that can also hinder your relationship with God and with your partner as well. One of them is dishonesty. Being deceitful or hiding the truth from your partner erodes trust and intimacy. Also, dishonesty in your spiritual life, such as hiding sins and not being truthful in your faith with God, can distance God from you. The second behavior is neglect. Ignoring your partner's needs and not spending quality time together can create emotional gaps. Also, neglecting your spiritual practices like praying and worshiping God can weaken your relationship with God. The next is resentment and unforgiveness. Holding on to grudges or not resolving conflicts can build barriers in your relationship. Unforgiveness can also impact your spiritual life as it goes against the teachings of love and reconciliation. Another behavior is selfishness. Prioritizing your own needs and desires over your partners can lead to feelings of neglect and undervaluation. In your spiritual life, being self-centered can prevent you from fully surrendering to God and serving others. And the last behavior I'd like to talk about is infidelity. Cheating or being unfaithful breaks the bond in a relationship. Spiritually, infidelity can lead to guilt and a sense of separation from God due to the betrayal of core values. These behaviors can hinder both your relationship with your partner and with God. There are so many other behaviors apart from these ones that I've mentioned that can also hinder your relationship with both God and your partner. So you be careful to do away with these behaviors. If you found yourself exhibiting any of these behaviors and you've overcome them, share your insights and experiences with us in the comment section.
And don't forget to check out our other videos for more insights on building strong spiritually aligned relationships. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.